Hi, my name is Ronald, and I'm going to be talking about how to uh, use Google Analytics and not the measurement protocol to uh, send Gravity Forms data in. So what you want to do is you want to go to Settings. You want to punch in your UAID. Uh, if you don't know how to get your UAID, just go to uh, Analytics, Admin. that are property settings and there you go you can just copy and paste that in and let's go ahead and do that for myself real quick so I'm going to change it to Google Analytics and now it says it's Ajax only so these forms will only work if the forms are Ajax only now if you don't have access to your forms to make them Ajax only there is a default under advanced to make the forms the Ajax only so you can update the settings there now the difference between Google Analytics and the measurement protocol, <clears throat> the measurement protocol has a lot more flexibility um, when it comes to sending data directly to Google, but it doesn't get as much data as pure JavaScript Google Analytics mode. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I recommend a plugin called uh, Monster Insights to output Google Analytics to your site. So let's go ahead and activate that. Okay, you see the insights, and I've already copied my UA code, so uh, it should be okay. So the manually enter UA code. They really want you to authenticate with your Google account. You can go ahead and do that. Um, just make sure you save your changes. Okay, so that should set your uh, form into AJAX mode. Just make sure that when you're uh, checking your form that you're logged out because uh, Monster Insights does not display uh, analytics if you're logged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a uh, incognito window here and go to my form. Let's see if I can get these side to side here real quick. I'm going to go ahead and go home and I'm going to go to real time analytics. Okay, so here's my form. They're kind of close by here. So I'm going to type in my name. And you'll see that it's Ajax only. And there should be a pagination event that pops up here. And you see it right here. And then test. You should see another uh, event pop up right here, real quick. Yep, there we go. And then finally, the message. And then we're going to wait for that to come through. Yep, we got form submission and message and check your conversions. And they're both working perfectly. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. If you watch the first video, which I highly recommend, um, it'll show you a lot more detail about what's going on. But that is how to use, uh, basically, yeah, let's say go back to forms uh, settings. event tracking. That is how to use uh, Google Analytics mode with this plugin and it'll send you a lot more data as far as when you need your conversion reports and all that stuff. So thank you for watching.